Hi, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something I've been reflecting on a lot. And I think two examples to in the last 24 hours have made me really think about that. And it's people come to me all the time, and I should say I mainly focus on creating digital learning with the use of video. And people come to me and say, oh, I have a client who expects it to be a really professional standard. And I really want to talk about what is professional because it doesn't mean it's just because you, something is shot on a really high-end camera and a videographer did it does not mean it's professional. Professional is knowing your content, delivering it well, keeping learners engaged, really making it effective learning. And I want to talk about two things that I heard in the last 24 hours. One is, or saw, Jacinda Ardern is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. So when we talk about someone being professional, she is the top. I mean, the Prime Minister, we always think of someone who's very professional. And last night she was delivering something via Zoom, let's say, it was an online thing. And her child came into the room, we didn't see them on camera, and asked for something. And the human element of how she dealt with that is what resonates with people. She spoke to her child. She said, I'll be with you in a moment. I'll give you a hug in bed. It's time to go back to bed. And it's blown up and it's gone viral. And that's what I mean, what makes a great experience for learners is the connections that you can make and you can make them in this digital format. The second thing that I helped me explain this or really sparked it in my mind was I was listening to a podcast where Jerry Seinfeld was talking and someone asked him, did he think he could make his show today? And the reply was no, because everybody's too careful. And I love that because he's not saying everyone's too politically correct, because we have to be respectful and inclusive and all of those things. But we shouldn't be too careful. We shouldn't be different from when we're teaching in a face-to-face -face environment to the way we deliver online. It shouldn't be too sanitized. It shouldn't be too boring. It still needs to acknowledge there's a learner there and we can talk to them. We can tell them that's my dog barking in the background. Oh, look, here comes the postman, the most important person in my life during lockdown. We can talk like that and it helps us connect. So make sure when you talk about professional, it's not just the quality of the video, which I argue doesn't always have to be the highest level. Um, it's, it's making sure you've got the right content, you're pitching it to the right audience, you're speaking to the audience in a way that they can understand. So another example of that is I was recently working with an organisation who used to have a man by the name of Jim who went around the country and taught the dr truck drivers health and safety. They now need to move it online. He used to do that in the tea room. Why did they go and then hire an actor and speak in a really different dialogue and different mannerisms than Jim ever did and create this very sanitised training that the truck drivers go, doesn't feel like they're talking to me. So I just want to make sure we remember that teaching and education is about human connection and just because we're doing it online doesn't mean we have to ignore the learner and try and engage with them. So that's my rant. If Jacinda Ardern and Seinfeld um, can resonate with me in that way and they bring that human element, why can't we? Why can't we as educators? So that's my rant for this week.